Lab 31 can be completed by pulling the contents of the HTML5 storage database and reading the contents to answer the question. We're going to use the echo page for our cross-site scripting. This page is very easy to do the cross-site scripting on, so it makes for good demos. If we click on hints and videos, we'll get a starter script and work off of that. We click on cross-site scripting, search for HTML5, and that'll take us to a few different scripts that we can use. We'll just take the one that's marked as intermediate, copy that, and we'll check and see if we need to make any changes to it, which should be minimal. We see that the script starts out by declaring variable L for window.local storage table, and then it iterates through each row in the table and adds that information to the variable M. Then it declares a variable S for the session storage, does a similar loop to move the information from that table also into the variable M, where it just continues to add onto that variable, making it longer. And then it redirects the user to the capture data page sending the value of m over into this variable, HTML5 storage. The only change we really need to make is the domain. We're not using the localhost domain in this particular lab environment. We're using matilda.local. Also, Matilda is running at the root level. It's not in a subfolder. So we'll just make that quick change. Go back over to the site. We'll use the echo page to paste the script and send it to the server, which redirects it back, causing the script to fire, dumping out the contents of the page on the data capture page. If you want, you can use the view capture data utility in Matilda Day to view this in a tabular form, but it's still going to look pretty similar. And so in here, we have all the different contents of both of the tables. And down towards the bottom, you can see that Chuck Norris counted to infinity twice this is the second to last row. So we go back over, select twice, and that turns out to be the correct answer.